I had some extra dough and I wanted to do a little special for Halloween. As DC's pastry chef for Baker of the Year. I really love Asian ingredients. Michelle Cooper is serving a favorite Asian staple as the prominent flavor for her Dunkaboo's Halloween cookies. It's already a popular flavor for her to-go ice cream. In my opinion, it's like vanilla meets cotton candy almost. Like, but it's like nutty and coconutty. I don't know. It's just such a unique flavor. I think anyone who doesn't experience it is missing out. It's called ube. It's not just the taste, but the vibrant purple color makes it a bigger standout. Ube is a purple tuber or yam native to the Philippines, prominently used in a variety of desserts. La Colina chef Caterina Petnito introduced it to Cooper as a way to help pay homage to her Filipino upbringing and family bakery. So I was just like, hey, what about this? What about this? What about this? Like Filipino desserts, and I love them, and they're so ingrained in me. 20 years ago, this ingredient wasn't so widely known, but in recent years, it's exploded onto the food scene, including in the DMV thanks to social media and more recognition from up-and-coming chefs. Trend forecaster WGSN predicted ube as the super influential flavor of 2023. Then Hasegawa USA also called it the flavor of this year. When I was young, I was looking for this stuff everywhere. Now, you, every corner you turn, you can find ube. But some have questioned the idea of ube being a trend or quote-unquote Instagrammable when Filipino cuisine isn't as mainstream as other cultures. That's why for the owner of Pan Asian Bakery, Rose Ave in Northwest, the special ingredient to her family is one she carefully sources from the right places and vendors. I try not to focus on trends because this is a long-lasting business. We also educate our customers. They're like, what is ube? And we, we tell them how it's pronounced, and we tell them what it is. It's always going to get its popularity based because of the color, but I think it's such a really, like I said, versatile product that any cuisine can use it, not just Filipino. The chef and owner of Filipino restaurant Hiraya on 8th Street is infusing ube in more savory dishes. He says it's time to expand how ube is used to help elevate the overall cuisine. And people think Filipino food's a trend, but I think we're starting to really hit mainstream America. But if anything, these chefs hope ube's fandom is an introduction to a much larger Filipino food profile, where there are so many other tastes and colors, too many to be defined as a trend. To hear like someone just call it a trend. Yeah, it's a little, there is some negative, like, it's like, oh, it's only going to be cool for a little bit. But for me, it, it, it's never a trend. It's always going to be, it's always going to be a staple. It's always going to be my heart. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.